Check out our new iPhone application to keep track of your orchids. Link in the description box. Hi there. Today, the day has come. Finally, I realized that my Phalaenopsis Leodoro has stem rot. I had a suspicion, but I didn't react. Some leaves were falling off, the older ones. They were falling off in a quite normal manner. They became yellow, they dried, and then they fell off. And I thought that it was part of a natural rejuvenation process. And in this case, there is a hidden infection behind it. And I just didn't get it. Today, this leaf fell off almost completely green and that's an alarm signal and I got it and I hope I can at least save the keiki I'm afraid I can't but I will try I think the whole situation got way worse during the last week and I didn't observe the plant at all I didn't have time the flower spikes became yellow as well and today I noticed that the keiki has some strange browning at the stem. In the pot, everything is fine. The root system is really good. Maybe it's a bit root bound, yes, but I don't think that that's the reason for the infection. What I will do is cut off the flower spikes so that I can free the keiki more easily. Let's see if I can just detach it with my hand without using scissors or something like that. Here we go. It doesn't look good. That's where the plant was connected with the mother plant. Such a pity. I just removed this small leaf and underneath I found this. And that's where this leaf came off, like this. Oh, it's such a pity. I had this suspicion when I made my magnesium deficiency video. I thought there could be something wrong. The other plants that lost leaves are really doing fine. I don't think that they suffer from an infection, but this one obviously does. It's not dead yet, but what can I do? At this stage, just a few days later, I can clearly see that the decay is unstoppable. I placed the keiki on top of the mother plant, I didn't even bother potting it up. And the flower spike is affected as well. The bud is going to blast, that's why I'm not going to cut the spike, trying to stick it in a vase to let it bloom, the plant is lost. Although the root system is still very nice, and I think it would be nice for months and months, and I'm not going to wait until the roots have dried up. I think I just can't. I've had this plant for so long, I think for about six or seven years and it had been sitting in the same medium ever since and it's one of those plants that proved to me that it's no problem to keep plants in bark medium for a very long time as long as the bark medium doesn't 
fall apart. And it was doing so well all the time, it bloomed reliably. And it's one of those hybrids that I would buy again, I think. Because the scent is so beautiful. I can highly recommend the Lenopsis Leodoro. Sweet memory, that's quite fitting. Well, I hope that you are all doing very, very well and that your plants are going to be healthy this year.